Just do it, will you please? Hey, Mary, 33, Debbie. It is over. Over? Do you know what you found? Oh, Jesus, Carter, look at me. Howard, this could be a very important discovery. <sighs> like you really did see this creature. Yeah, I saw it up close and personal. Right, right. Now, did you have the book? You told the police about the tunnels, didn't you? Carter! He didn't tell him. Look, man, we're your friends. I mean, you, you're trying to go squarely working like this. You know that. I'm fine. And we got news for you, man. Look, I'm busy, and I would appreciate it if... These used to be the old housemaster's rooms, weren't they? Yes, yes. Now, if you two wouldn't mind, the radio said that Howard and five other students were attacked by uh, wild dogs. That isn't true, is it, Carter? Well, that's the story, but I don't know the rest of it. Howard will be fine. He should be back in a day or so, and he can tell you all about it then. Heavy stuff for a folklore major. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Now, let's go eat, huh? Really? Pretty radical slant on this. Just uh, a little too uh, deep for me, guys. Ta-ta. What you have unleashed by entering my home is again leashed. What? No. You're not dreaming, but you are in grave danger. What you have unleashed still lives. Beware. Hello, Emilio. Chancellor Thera, Randall Carter is here. I see him, thank you. The cotton the one, on, and that disappeared in, um... 1688. 1688. This professor is the self-same copy. <laughs> I'd hate to calculate the book fines due on it. We cannot trust anyone right now. Well, what are we gonna do? You well enough to travel? You're not thinking of going back there. Get dressed. I brought you some clothes. Shouldn't we be doing this during the day? You think it would be any safer? Somehow, yes. Primitive superstition. I don't care. Quiet. Sorry. I am questioning the sanity of this. All right, my boy. Scholarly vanity triumphs over common sense. Howard? Yeah? Howard! Ow. Ah. You scared the hell out of me. I'll check in every 15 or 20 minutes. Hopefully you'll be back before then. It's getting creepy up here. Keep a stiff upper lip. Later. <laughs> That's a dog. That's just a dog. Dog. Is the writing of Rulia? <laughs> Elida, you have nothing to fear. Good. Now. Which will leave the other? The demon will leave. Is that a good idea? No. Howard, that's meeting you here. I brought the creature with me. God, no, Carter! Oh, my God, that's a naked woman. Howard, may I present Elida Winthrop? Carter, this is not... Oh, but of course, you two have met before. Carter? She talks. Carter. A bit. It's not human, that thing down there. Oh, Carter. I got a real bad feeling about this. No feelings were harmed in the making of the scene. Carter? 
figured it'd be you. I was wondering. Can it wait, Barger? It's 1.30 in the morning. Carter? I just go back to bed. What in the hell is going on here? Nothing. Just go back to bed. Nothing. You got to be kidding. Carter with a naked woman in his room. I mean, this is monumental. Barger, just do... Howard, get her something to wear. Yeah. Mary might have something. Okay. No. Robert! No, not Mary! Jack. Everybody's gonna know about her now. What will bring in your police? And they're gonna believe us? Oh, they'll believe us. How do we get ourselves into this? Curiosity does it every time. Holy cow. Hi there. Uh, hey, you... back off, Jack. All right, Carter, what have you been doing to her? Mary, I don't have time to explain. You brought some clothes, you're gonna have to show her how to dress because she's never worn any. Mary, Elida, Elida, Mary. <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt you, but you gotta wear something. Carter, she doesn't like clothes. Get her dressed in anything. First floor, women's apparel, protective gear. Life insurance. Carter, where'd you find her? Uh, relax, uh, it's okay, it isn't dangerous, really. She doesn't look like she's gonna be separated from you. Carter, I don't know why she goes for you, you lucky dog. Why shouldn't she? <laughs> Are you serious? I have found something wonderful, and you don't know how happy I am to see you. <laughs> After a lighter, I suppose, well, she's not here. Come on, then. like the right place. Hey! You holding up? Holding up. <laughs> We're doing all right. Do you speak the language of Cthulhu? Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Cthulhu! You understand it, Elijah. Do you know what this means? Wait, you understand? Enough. Cthulhu relie vanagul fatagum. Enough. Cthulhu. Julie Ganago for Ah, oh, great, it's a bitch. <laughs>